everyone. Today's unboxing is a Timu haul. Um, Timu is a Chinese company that has opened a um, facility here in the United States um, in Massachusetts and um, they offer basically discount discount items. Well, just discount items. Um, there's, uh, you've probably, I am not the only person doing the Timu hauls. They have, they kind of took everybody by storm in January of 2023 here. And, um, basically they're like giving other companies like Wish and Shein and, um, a couple others, um, kind of a run for their money initially. Uh, they offer a lot of discounted off-brand items or knockoffs, um, so the prices are pretty cheap. You get things like, they've got household items, they've got toys, they've got electronics, clothing. Um, there's so many different categories. Um, so you kind of take your chances. This is my, I want to say this is my third haul with them. Well, fourth, technically. One I did not actually video, but um, so I've like purchased, got purchased and received four full shipments from them including this one here um you <laughs> you get what you pay for sometimes right so the prices are really good some items are incredibly cheap and i mean cheap like cheap quality some of them are decent i have gotten some things that i have really liked um and then i've gotten some things that uh i probably wouldn't have bought at the dollar store so <laughs> you, you take your chances that's for sure um, overall, I have had pretty positive experiences, at least with the hauls that I've gotten. Um, so I'm going to tell you the, about this one the, I started, I decided I was going to my first haul. I, I'm rambling. I'm sorry. My first haul was a random haul, which was basically, I just bought a bunch of stuff I thought was interesting and I unboxed that for you. And that's, if you go on my playlist, you'll see that there. And then my second one was I decided I was going to do categories and I picked the toy category and I unboxed that one. And again, that was overall, I was pretty happy with most of the stuff I got. I was not expecting a whole lot. Um, so my, my expectations were low, so I didn't have to worry. Um, this particular one is the crafts, arts and crafts category. Uh, it took 11, 11 days to get to me total. Um, this one actually arrived way quicker and then this one had to come separately. And when I open it, I will explain why I think it had to come separately. Um, and then don't go away at the end because I want to talk a little bit about what appears to be going on with Timu right now. So, um, let me get into this. Uh, this is the crafts category from Timu. It is, uh, I ordered it in March of 2023 so let's dive in and just see what we've got okay um so i'm going to come back to that one because i'm going to actually need to show you show you something from this one first now everything gets shoved in a bag so if you're if you're buying for gifts you might want to keep that in mind because Things don't necessarily come well packaged. I did get a box last, the last haul I did, I got a box that did not come well. Um, that's not to say these won't, but just telling you. Okay, so like I said, this was the arts and crafts. And I just picked a bunch of different things that I thought would be interesting to do. All right, so this first item here is a latch hook kit. You see it's a latch hook kit. Um, and it is a pillow, a Halloween pillow. So it's got a pre-printed and binded canvas, acrylic yarn, a hook tool, and then the pattern. And you can actually see the different yarns. There's the hook tool. I can see the, the um, canvas. And I was like, I love latch hook but I don't really have a need for rugs. So when I came across the pillow, I'm like, oh, I could do a pillow. Um, so this was $16.48. Okay. And then and let me check those off while I'm going through it. And then the next item I have is 
a silicone mold. Actually, I'll open it up so you can see. Okay, so I've got, um, it is, do I have two pieces or is it one? It kind of feels like, oh, I think you pour it in here. Okay, so here's the legs. So I don't know if you can tell what it is, but it is a mold for a bathtub. Um, so this is a bathtub resin mold. And this was $3.59. I, I have been falling down a rabbit hole of people making resin uh, stuff uh, on Instagram. And I'm like, that looks so cool. I want to try that. So I'm like, well, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to try it with this haul. So I got the molds. Now I'm going to jump over to this other packaging. So this packaging here, um, cut it open here. Double bagged, that's good. Oh, let's get it all out of here. Okay. So this is the resin. I've got the epoxy resin. I got an epoxy resin, A and B ones. One's the resin, one's the hardener. I've never done this before. So before I even do it, I'm gonna have to look it up. You know, I'm gonna have to watch some videos and stuff to see how to do this properly. Um, but this, this came separately. This was an epoxy resin set for $5.84. That was all of this, which gives me everything supposedly that I'm gonna need to make <laughs> this in resin. Now, I don't know if that's going to be the case. Like I said, I've never done this before, but I thought, you know, for that price, I would go ahead and try it. Now, my theory is that this was shipped, sh shipped separately because it's a chemical. So I don't know if it was shipped from a separate place or just they didn't want to ship it with the rest of the items. So I actually think that's a really cool idea and I don't mind. It did take a little longer to get to me, but I don't mind that because at least this way I didn't have to worry. It was the only thing in the package and I didn't have to worry about anything getting damaged by the chemicals. I think possibly they've got to ship them separately anyway because, you know, when you go to the post office, they always say, do you have anything liquid, fragile, fragile, hazardous materials, all that. So, you know, they, maybe they had to ship it that separately, but I just appreciate that. Okay. Then the next item that I have is a ball of yarn, a roll, one roll of dye gradient yarn in water blue and it's you know it's different shades and this was two dollars and 19 cents now could i have gotten this cheaper if i'd gotten like a bigger thing probably but i was like well for two dollars i'll go ahead and get that um it's very thin i wasn't sure what um thickness i was going to get it probably said on the website what the thickness was, but I don't do a whole lot with yarn. So I didn't know, but I was like, for, you know, for $2 and 19 cents, I'm going to go ahead and get that. I can always find a use for it. Okay. And then, well, let me reach that here. so then I got this container. This is a diamond painting storage container for $5 and 48 cents. And I like to do diamond painting. I have not done a whole lot of it, but I do like to do it when I can. And I did ha I do have some containers for the diamond dots, but um, they weren't holding up real well. So I thought, well, I'm gonna get this one and see if this holds up any better. What I liked about it was that these are screw on tops. 
because the ones that I had were clip-ons, clips, and the clips kept breaking on them. So I'm like, well, that's pretty, that's a pretty nice thing. Um, I don't do diamond painting on huge canvases where I need a whole bunch of these kind of containers. So this will do me just fine. But I did like the price on it. Okay. All right. And then, oh, got to check off my resin. There we go. Okay. Then I have a rainbow scratch paper note. Um, basically, this is just a sketch, a sketch pad. Uh, this is a one piece scratch art book for $4.38. Um, basically, it's black and you take, you scratch off your picture and then it's rainbow behind the black, right? Um, it's very basic. In my toy haul, I got a little notepad one version of this. I just got the bigger one because I was like, well, you know, I wanted to see what the bigger one was like. And um, I have an artist daughter who loves experimenting with drawings on this kind of paper. So I was like, I'm just going to get that one. Okay. And then I have one more item. Okay. Um, the last item I have is a diamond DIY diamond painting and it's a little purse or bag or whatever you want to call it so I'm not going to pull this off here because this part here you do the diamonds on so it's diamond painting but it's not a canvas it's actually on this little purse which has got a zippered a zippered top but you can see uh <laughs> it's missing the end on it I don't know what happened to the end there. And then inside should be the diamonds to do it. Yeah. Oh, there might be a piece. Oh, there's the end. Yeah, there's the end to it. Okay. So it's got, here's the diamonds to it. So they're glittery. So they're going to make the butterfly really glittery. And then you've got the wax and the dot um, container or I could use that thing. Um, the applicator, this is for, this is like, um, the shoulder, shoulder strap, so to speak. So I was just like, again, it was kind of like the pillow, the latch hook pillow. Um, I really, I like diamond art and I, it's just a fun thing to do, but I am not in need of a bunch of pictures to hang on my wall. Um, so when I saw this, which was actually on a little a little purse that I might carry around, I thought, well, that's really cool. I'm going to try that. So that was $6.89. All right. So the total for this haul, my shipping was free. I had to pay sales tax. So I paid a total of $47.98 for everything in my haul. Um, so I have to say that just looking at everything without having utilized everything, that I'm, I'm pretty pleased with this. Uh, yes, some things you could get cheaper, probably not cheaper necessarily, but some play, like the yarn, I definitely could find better yarn somewhere. Um, but I just, I like the convenience, right? Okay, so um, if you like this video, please take a moment to the like button down below. And also if you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell, it'll let you know when I post my unboxings. And as always, I love your comments. What'd you think of this haul? What'd you think of the stuff in the haul? Um, or the prices? Or have you bought from them? You know, any tips or tricks? Or, um, or if you just want to say hi, that's okay too. I love your comments. I read and respond to them all. So what did I think of this? Well, I just told you I'm, I'm pleased overall with what I got. Um, I don't know the quality of it because I haven't used any of it and I especially don't know how the resin thing is going to be. I'm, but I'm looking forward to trying it out. And this was an inexpensive way for me to get those kind of things to try out. So I like that. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about Timu. Um, <laughs> it is a Chinese company and if you're one, if you're somebody who doesn't, you know, want to be sending your money to them, you're not going to want to buy from them. That's for sure. Because um, even though it's shipping in the U.S., it is Chinese owned. Um, now, if you, if 
you don't care one way or the other, you know, the prices are cheap. You take your chances because some things are like really cheap quality. And, but then there, on the other hand, there have been some things that I've gotten that I've actually been impressed, pretty impressed with. So, I mean, overall, that experience has been good for me, but now I'm going to get to the downside. I'm not sure what's going on with Timu currently. No, I, this will pop up probably at the beginning of April. Um, this is mid-March when I am, when I am telling you all of this. I had three different orders placed. I put stuff in my cart and then I went through the process of paying for things using PayPal. And um, so I had three orders that I was waiting for shipment on. Um, they, I had to cancel them. Okay. I'm just going to, that's, that's the upshot of it is that I had to cancel them because I, the one order I placed was for a, uh, it was for some Easter presents and it took after a week of it just sitting there telling me sorry we can't we're still trying to fill this order i was like i can't wait for you guys to tell me okay two weeks two weeks after we ship it you might get it because i was looking for things for easter so um that was my first order that i had sitting out there and that sat out there for 10 days 10 days now, within the 10 days, they contacted me twice to refund me on two items that they were out of stock on. And then, um, then they kept telling me it's just pending. Basically, it was pending. No problem, except for the fact that I had already paid for them. So something's going on with their inventory system because they should not be allowing me to order all these items and then not be able to fulfill. So I don't know what's going on over there. But I had placed subsequent of the Easter order, I had placed two other orders, two different category hauls that I was going to do. And they too sat out there. Some things dropped off because they ran out of stock. Some things just sat there. And I'm like, okay, why after a week are you just sitting here on these items? No, no notification, nothing. So then I started researching a little bit and asking the question is anybody else having a problem where you've got preparing to ship but nothing's going out a whole ton of people in march were ha are having issues with that and they're not getting good responses from the company and the ones who were getting responses were getting the standard we ship everything via usps and it's going to take a little while to get to you and you know, they give you like a, a date that it's going to get, that's going to ship by. And then they also tell you if you don't get it by that window, that they'll refund you. They'll, well, they'll, they'll, not they'll refund you, they'll give you a credit, right? Um, I've gotten the credit um, and they, they actually do give you the credit. But still, if you're waiting to get something at a particular time, you know, and it shouldn't be sitting there. There's just something wrong with that. Um, so they give the standard, it's, here's how we ship, we'll give you a $5 credit if it doesn't get to you on time, but if you're going to have those orders just sitting out there pending. So I had quite a few items that were sitting out there in those three orders, just pending, uh, being prepared. Let's put it that way. They were being prepared. Now they had my money, but, uh, for me, it was unacceptable that they were just sitting there waiting to be prepared. If you don't have the items, your inventory system should be catching that. And I, you know, I get that if you got a lot of people ordering at one time, you don't know, you know, you had, you had 50 of these things and you had, you know, 90 orders come in the same day. You didn't know you were going to be out. I get that, but that's a short time frame. That's not a week or two later. By that point in time, you should know whether or not you can fill my order. Um, so that made me not happy. And given that people were having that problem all over the place, I didn't want to take a chance. So I canceled all three orders. Now, they were really good about refunding the money. As a matter of fact, they gave me the $5 credits because basically I told them when I canceled it, I'm canceling it because I'm not going to get it in time. Because you had, you'd have to ship it now in order for it to get to me when I wanted to get it. So they gave me the credits, which is great if I want to go back on their website and use them. If I don't, it's not going to, it doesn't help me at all. 
but I will say that I was impressed that they gave me a refund very quick. So that went through. So I did get refunded on all three orders. Um, so I have, uh, I have mixed emotions about them. I really want to, I really want to utilize them, but I don't think I can trust them currently. Now, like I said, I don't know in February when I ordered stuff, no problem. Things got to me on time. I didn't have any issues. I think I might've had one thing cancel on me, but everything came quickly, no problem. And then March started getting head up with all these issues. Um, so like I said, they could be, it, it could be that their inventory system is overloaded and they're having, they're struggling with that, but I'm not gonna be a guinea pig for that. So I'm going to wait and see how things play out before I attempt to give them another chance. And I tell you this because I don't want you guys to have taken a look at my other hauls and decided you wanted to give them a shot. You know, if you're watching this in March, early April, you know, you might wanna wait. You might wanna wait and see how things play out. All right, so. That was my public service announcement. <laughs> um, so that is it for today's video. Thanks so much for stopping by and watching. You guys are awesome. Have a great day.